internet, welcome to a new video, I guess, series that I'm doing here on the channel. Um, what I'm going to be doing is pretty much just doing a bit of competitive battling, mostly on Pokemon Showdown and Poker Battle at the moment. Uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you this fairly decent, I would say, team, but really it's the there's maybe one or two, two or three, one or two uh, that are actually really useful. Um, so first up, I will show you this Clefable that I've got here. Uh, so what, we're, what we've done with this one is we've given it leftovers because you always want to get that little bit of health on a bulky Pokemon like this. Ability, we've got Magic Guard, that way Burns and Toxic does nothing. Uh, in terms of moves, uh, I've got Substitute, Cosmic Power, Soft Boiled, and Stored Power. Um, only one of those actually does any damage, and that is Stored Power, which is a Psychic type move. Um, I'll tell you why, we'd, <laughs> why we've got just that move in just a minute. So the idea behind this one is um, pretty much it's bulky, bulky as hell. As you can see, we've got um, fairly decent special attack on this though. But what we've got as well is fairly high special uh, special defense at uh, 230, 237, and defense itself is up at 216, yeah. Um, and some decent HP as well. Um, we've got a Calm Nature to boost that special defense and lower the attack because we're only using special defense. Um, so the idea with this one is essentially I'll get it out there, um, substitute if I want, uh, what Cosmic Power does is it boosts your special attack, uh, special defense and your defense, so our defense is just going to go up. Um, and then we've got Softball to heal ourselves once we're behind that um, substitute if you want. And then Stored Power is actually a really cool move. It does, it's Psychic, special attack, does 20 damage, um, no 20, 20 uh, it has 20 power um, for the attack, but then also it boot gets an extra 20 for every um, every uh, stat boost you've got. So if I use Cosmic Power, that'll boost my defense, my special defense, and it'll give me an extra 40 onto that attack. Um, and with the Substitute, I can essentially set up the Substitute, do Cosmic Power, the Substitute will survive almost anything for at least one turn. So then we can boost again on the next turn, that gives us plus four, uh, like, what's that? Uh, so yeah, an extra 80 onto, onto that attack, and if we boost it all the way, um, it is very, very powerful and can do quite a lot of damage without people expecting it, because um, they just see me boosting my defenses, so they think I'm going to stall them out, but I'm actually going to just sweep them. Uh, what we've got next here is uh, Dragonite. This is pretty much exactly the Dragonite that I have on uh, Pokemon X and Y, to be honest. It's essentially just the multi-scale weakness policy idea, um, Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, Extreme Speed, Earthquake, um, Max Attack, Max Speed, bit in HP, and Jolly. Uh, so the idea with this is put it out, um, multi-scale will pretty much let it survive anything on that first hit. Um, so what you, essentially what you want to do is go out for a Dragon Dance, um, that'll boost your attack and your speed. Uh, you probably get hit by a super effective move on the first turn as well, which then sets off your weakness policy, which boosts your attack even more. Um, next turn, you can either go extreme speed if you're worried about being slow, um, or Dragon Claw or Earthquake, depending on what you're facing. Um, yeah, it can actually really be a very useful sweeper. Um, my one on X and Y, I've got Dragon Rush instead of Dragon Claw, which is a bit more powerful, but has a chance to miss. Um, I find that on Showdown, I'm pretty susceptible to misses quite a bit, so I've gone with Dragon Claw because that'll always hit. Uh, we've got Rotom Wash here, which is uh, a bit... I want to say different, but the way I'm doing it is I've got mad special defense um, with Max and being boosted by the Calm Nature. A little bit into the special attack just because I wanted a bit of a boost there and the rest in HP. Uh, I've got Hydro Pump, Will-O-Wisp, Rest, and Charge Beam, um, and also holding a Chesto Berry. Essentially, the idea for this one is I can burn them, Charge Beam will boost my special attack um, sometimes, and then Hydro Pump is Hydro Pump, it's a powerful water type move. Um, yeah, pretty simple strategy for that one. Uh, I had one of these in game originally that I just did, 
Um, I think it was special attack and HP and that did really well because people always expected it to be this bulky one. Uh, but instead I've gone with a bulky one on this just because I thought I'd try it out because I've never really used it like that before. Uh, this next one is our Mega for this team. We've got a Mega Garchomp here. Um, before evolving, uh, Mega Evolving we've got Ruskin just in case we get a hit on that first turn. Uh, when it's evolved it gets Sand Force I think which is boost, uh, boost your attack in sand. I didn't really put anything on this team that had sand because originally I was going to uh, check a Tyranitar in there to uh, kind of balance things out, but I went against it in the end. Uh, this one's actually a special attacking, well it's more of a mixed attacking uh, Garchomp, a uh, bit unexpected really. We've got a Naughty Nature which boosts your attack and lowers your special defense, um, which is a bit risky, but I thought I'd do that because I'd rather have that speed and that HP just in case. Uh, so the idea with this one is you put it out there, Mega Revolve, people are expecting you to be physically sweeping the crap out of them, but instead you hit them with a Fire Blast or a Draco Meteor, and uh, <laughs> that really throws them off. Uh, if they if they put up some sand or something, because if they're Tyranitar, they're whatever, uh, that'll boost their attack, which is fairly high, to be honest, for um, something that has such a low EV, uh, low EVs in attack, um, and for that we've got Earthquake and Stone Edge there just in case for type coverage, um, and yeah, it's unexpected for people, and I thought I'd try it out, I haven't really, get, haven't really had a chance to use it yet, but I'm still going to use this team, or parts of this team, in future videos anyway, and this one will more than likely be staying. Uh, we've got a Conqueror here, which I've never really used, and I just thought I'd throw one together. Um, I used one in-game playing Pokemon Black 2, I think, um, or White 2, whichever one I had, and I liked it in-game, so I thought I'd try it out on here. Um, we've got this one with uh, the ability Guts, so we've got a Flame Orb on there. Um, we've got uh, Adamant Nature, um, max, in, max EVs in HP and attack, boosted in attack because of the nature, and then a little bit in special defense, um, you know, just for fun. Uh, moves, we've got Drain Punch so we can get some health back, we've got Knock Off, Work Up and Protect. Um, kind of fairly average moveset, I just thought uh, Knock Off's useful for those pesky items anyway, Drain Punch will get some stuff back. Uh, work Up is a move that I, I like the idea of, it works well for uh, stat boosting, uh, as well as Protect just in case. And now the next one is one that a lot of people use and I've actually never ever used before. Uh, we've got Togekiss here. I've gone with a, um, a, uh, gone with a bit of a slightly different but fairly common uh, set with this. I've got Air Slash, Thunder Wave, Extreme Speed and Nasty Plot. Um, the idea here is uh, pretty much flinching and like para flinch essentially. We've got the Razor Fang item which uh, boosts your chance of uh, the opponent flinching extreme grace which then makes air slash more likely to um, flinch. So we've got maybe like a 30-40% chance of the opponent flinching on that. So if we can get a Thunder Wave in first, you have pretty much you can pretty much just take them out and not expect them to attack. Um, and then get them close to the edge just to be careful, go for extreme speed. Um, it is a physical attack and we do have a very low physical attack. But if you just want to take out that last bit of health, it's very useful. Um, and then of course Nasty Plot just to boost that special attack for fun. Um, with the EVs, yeah, we've got full HP, a little less than full in special attack. Um, oh, that's weird. I guess I was meant to be full in special attack. I should fix that next time because we've still got four EVs to go around. Uh, and a little bit in attack just to uh, boost that uh, extreme speed. I, I, I reckon I've taken them off the special attack to put into attack for that extreme speed and just forgot to put it there. Uh, but yeah, so that's the team. Um, I, like I said, I've never really used many of these before except for Dragonite and Rotom. Um, but from what I've seen, uh, from what I've seen of these Pokemon, we should do really well. Um, Clefable is a tank and from the battles I've done so far, it can stand up to a lot of things. Uh, so we're going to jump into a battle now and we'll see just how we go. Alright, so we're going to an OU battle and we've got one straight away with Makitop. So we're going to start off with uh, Clefable I believe, I think that's what I clicked on. And we'll sit around and wait for this guy, I'm really excited for this battle. Um, Clefable just really shows off 
its ability to really wreck us. So we're going to go with Substitute first up, just so we've got that little bit of protection. Um, Substitute and Claw Fables are actually really quite good. Oh, there we go. Uh, really quite good because it it can take some hits. Um, so we're going to softball to heal that up. Um, it can really take some hits with a substitute, like that energy ball took it out, but there's a lot of times where I've done it, and uh, two or three hits from relatively strong stab moves, after usually after one cosmic power or something, uh, it'll stand up for a couple of turns, um, which is really, really quite good. Um, so we're just going to keep going for cosmic power, because um, this Gardevoir is going to go for Destiny Bond on us. Um, and yeah, we'll just keep boosting up special defense and the defense, because then pretty much anything that goes at us will not be able to do any damage. Uh, so I think it's going to switch out now. Um, presumably to something a bit, that something with a type advantage. Oh no, he's still going for an attack, that's good. But as you can see, we've almost halved, uh, more than halved, the damage they're doing to us with that psychic. Uh, so we're going to softball to heal up from that, and with that with the leftovers, we'll then bring us to 100%, which is pretty useful. So we're going to substitute now, now that we've got that um, 2.5 uh, boost on defense and special defense. Um, no, he's putting us to sleep. There we go. So I took a risk here, and I'm just going to wait out the sleep, because I'm pretty sure even if we didn't wake up, then we would have been able to take a couple of hits here from Conquerbert. Um, as we resist most things coming from him. So now that we're behind the substitute, we're going to go for Cosmic Power. And as you see, that Fire Punch did nothing. Um, that substitute is still sitting there. Cosmic Power again, I think we're just going to boost all the way up to uh, four times for both. Um, because that'll give us a huge, huge uh, boost on that Stored Power attack. It'll actually bring us up to... It has a base power of 20, uh, what's that, so 4 times, oh god, that's maths, <laughs> it's like 180 base power, 160 base power, uh, which, considering it's a psychic move, will destroy Conqueror straight up. Uh, so we're behind the substitute, and we've got the cosmic power um, all the way up. Uh, we could heal, I think we'll go for a heal just to be sure, and he's going for a focus punch by the looks of it. So if we can just resist that completely and now go for that stored power, he is out of here. Oh, but hey, he's going to switch. But check out how much damage it does here to this Black Kyurem. That is really good. He's going to go for a roost and we're just going to keep whittling, whittling him down until he has no uh, HP at all. Um, if I was him, I would have gone for an attack at this point just to get some damage in if he could because I'm just whittling away at his health um, and with such a strong Pokemon you'd think he would want to uh, keep it going but look 60 gone 60% of their HP gone in one shot uh, I think what he was trying to do there is uh, make me run out of PP which I will most likely before the end of this battle uh, but it's okay we've got a lot of other strong Pokemon we don't have to beat them all completely with Clefable Although I think if we had more PP, we definitely could. Um, look at that, Ice Beam, 4%. Uh, I'm going to get all that back with Leftovers straight away. Clefable is overpowered as. I really wish, if this if Clefable was in the, uh, in the Kalos decks, I would have gone to Nationals, which is today, and I would have won, because this guy is ridiculous. All right, so here comes that Dragonite. And I'm pretty sure we can take this guy out fairly quickly. So we're going to go for a substitute. And look at that critical hit earthquake does just over half. Uh, so we'll go for a substitute. And I guess we'll go for a soft boil just to heal up. Um, and look at that. That earthquake that did over half before can't even beat our substitute. That is amazing. That is really good. So let's see how much this does. We got 51% off that sword power. That's actually pretty amazing. Uh, especially with that multi-scale. So we should take him out one hit here if he doesn't switch, which he does. Switches out to Charizard. I think we can take Charizard. Wow, 84%. Considering I've got no uh, stat boost in special attack and it's all just because of the other um, the effects of the move, I think it's pretty good. I'm happy with that. 
And at this point, I think this guy has pretty much given up. He's going for moves that won't even hit me. Um, Alright, so what's this? I think we... Res, do they resist? Uh, psychic? Does Psychic resist Psychic? Yeah, it does. Or is that the Fairy? But that's okay. Um, we'll just keep going. Yeah, see, he went for Hypnosis there, which seems kind of dumb at this point, considering I'm behind the Substitute. I think at this point he was just over it. Um, so he's got Destiny Bond. I'm I'm just going to take him out because I do only have three uh, three more stored powers to go. Um, although I could pretty much kill both of them if I got them all out now, but then we would have to boost up again. So we're go going to sacrifice Clefable right there, and we're going to send out. Um, who are we going to send out? I think Togekiss. Yeah. Just because I know I can get that power flinch as well as the uh, the flying type advantage over this conkle there anyway, uh, so we paralyze him. Ooh, that's a big uh, big bit of damage. So we're gonna go for air slash right there to take him out. Um, and now we've got the dragonite. So what do we do here? Uh, so we're gonna go air slash, which will do a little bit. Um, after doing that thunder shot, uh, thunder wave, but I'm pretty sure we can just flinch slash paralyze him out at this point. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the way this battle's gone, to be honest. Uh, using two Pokemon I've never really used before and pretty much destroyed it. It did take a long time to set up, as we are on turn uh, turn 35. But hey, <laughs> a win's a win, really. Uh, yep, see, he's going for Draco Media. I don't understand, for one, the fact that he's using a special Dragonite, uh, but also the fact that he no like it's clearly immune. Uh, but there we go, so we've won that one. That is a real surprise. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump over to Poker Battle uh, just to see how this team holds up over there. All right, here we are in Poker Battle. Same team, guys. Uh, same strategy. Up to Caracosta, so he's going for Shell Smash. I'm going for that Cosmic Power. Um, ooh, he's really testing me. We'll just try and heal up from that, but I think he's going to get us. Um, could go for that Substitute, but I think he'd break it almost at this point. Uh, yes, try it. Let's see what happens. Shell Smash, here's a sub. Cosmic Power again. Uh, waterfall breaks us up. Uh, let's go for that stored power, but I think he's gonna pretty much wall it. I think we missed. Oh no, we flinched there. That's, that's weird. That's really frustrating. Uh, soft boiled, but he's gonna get us because of that speed boost. So we're gonna go out to Togetic, uh, Togekiss, uh, go for that Thunder Wave. Uh, and he's paralyzed, which is good, so we're gonna go Nasty Block because I wanna boost that air slash. Uh, he's fully paralyzed, which is great. And wow, he's that sturdy saves him, but takes us out straight away. Uh, so we're gonna go for knock off here with Conkelder, uh, which is good. That takes it off, and that gives us that burn, so we can uh, get the boost on the next turn. Uh, let's see what he's gonna send out now. He's got uh, hair across there, so we're gonna go. Ah, uh, Drain Punch or Knock Off, I'm not really sure. Drain Punch it is, but he's taken us out and then he's got that Moxie Boost. So I think this is where he gets the advantage on I me. Mean, I'm going to go for Rotom, try and burn him to lower that attack, but damn. Damn, damn, damn. So we're going to go for Garchomp, uh, we're going to Mega Evolve, and go for that Fire Blast. But he's going to close combat us, combat us straight away. So we've got that Moxie again. Uh, we're going to strive for a Dragon Dance, hopefully hoping to survive, and we do. Uh, Dragon Claw, hopefully we'll take him out. And that, there goes Heracross. See, Dragonite will usually be able to uh, keep up with things now, but now he goes for that Mandibuzz, which is very tanky in this, and foul plays us out. So there, there's a loss on Poker Battle. Um, we'll go for a second battle here with the same team just to see what happens. Um, come on, okay. So this guy's got a Glass Gorosable, a Chansey of a Porygon, Venusaur, and a Gudra. 
Okay, um... Who are we gonna... We're gonna go Fable again? Uh, okay, Sableye. Let's go for a substitute straight up. Um, hopefully we can get uh, Clefable here boosted up real quick so we can take out a bunch of these guys. So there's that substitute. Um, what should we go for now? Uh, hmm. Venusaur is pretty good, pretty good, and it'll be weak against uh, the Psychic Moves. So we'll go for a Cosmic Power just to boost it. Uh, so that Sludge Bomb destroys our substitute. So we'll go for another one. And he's put us to sleep. That is great. And a Leech Seed as well. That is fantastic. So we'll keep going for that sub. And we just got it. Uh, Softball to heal up there. Uh, Softball again. Just to get that more. But he's put us to sleep once again. So we'll try for that substitute. And we got it. Oh no, we didn't have enough health. That's, that's great. Uh, so we're going to go for Togekiss, the usual here, we're going to go for a Thunder Wave straight up just to paralyze this Mega Venusaur, uh, which I didn't even notice Mega Evolves to be honest. Pokeball goes really quick, uh, as you may notice, and yeah, it doesn't really tell you when stuff happens. Well, it does, but you have to really pay attention, whereas on Showdown it's a bit more obvious when stuff like that happens. Uh, so he's switching out to Chansey, who I've now paralyzed. I'm going to go for a Nasty Plot just to get that boost. Um, and another one. So plus, uh, plus four for Special Attack, which is great. Uh, so we'll go for an Air Slash now, even though we're both paralyzed. Which is 36%, which is really good against the Chansey, to be honest. Um, hopefully we can get the Power Flinch here and... Oh, he switches out. Uh, so we'll go Thunder Wave on this Vaporeon, but I have a feeling he's going to switch out. No, he's going to stay in with a Wish and par uh, Paralyze there, so let's go for an Air Slash. Yep, and there's that switch, so then we'll take out that Chansey. That's one down. Uh, Vaporeon's here, so we'll almost take that out. Go for an Extreme Speed, which, damn it, does just not enough. We should have got the Air Slash there. Uh, and we've... We're a bit paralyzed at this point, um, but there we go. Okay, Sableye, let's go for a Thunder Wave on you. Got us confused, which is a worry, but we're gonna go for that Air Slash now. Uh, snapped out of confusion, but we were very paralyzed right there. Uh, confused again, hurt ourselves a bit, and taking out that Sableye. Uh, so we're doing a lot better this battle than the last one. Oh, and there we go, this guy forfeited. He knew that I could take him out. Well, thanks for watching, guys. That'll be the end of this episode of this. Uh, next time, we're probably going to mix the team up a bit. And, uh, yeah, it should be good. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that. Um, also, if you haven't noticed, uh, the new... The latest episodes of the Pokemon Black Nuzlocke have been including uh, codes for booster packs on the Pokemon Trading Card game online, uh, hidden throughout the video and annotation. So make sure you're watching those, getting those codes, before anyone else. Uh, and yeah, have a good one guys. Thanks for watching.